God's sovereign power without our aid made us of clay and formed us then. And when like wandering sheep we strayed, God brought us to the fold again. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Saturday, August 10th. It's the 11th week after Pentecost in week five in the Psalm cycle and the scripture for this service, Psalm 136 and Mark chapter nine, verse 30 to 41. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy lasts forever. Alleluia. Psalm 136. Alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy lasts forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for God's mercy lasts forever. Give thanks to the Most High of the high, for God's mercy lasts forever. Who alone does great wonders, whose wisdom made the heavens, who stretched out the earth above the waters, who made great lights, the sun to rule by day, the moon and stars to rule by night, and who smote Egypt in their firstborn, and brought out Israel from among them, with a strong hand and a stretched out arm, who divided the Red Sea into parts, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, but threw Pharaoh and Pharaoh's army into the Red Sea, who led the people through the wilderness, who smote great kings, and slew famous kings, Sihon, king of the Ammonite, Amorites, and Og, the king of Bashan, and gave their land for a heritage, a heritage to Israel, God's servant, who remembered us in our lowly estate and redeemed us from our enemies, who gives food to all flesh. O oh, give thanks to the God of heaven, for God's mercy lasts forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, and God's mercy lasts forever. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning at verse 30. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. Jesus did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying and they were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on along the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. He sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. And then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. 
For truly I tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink, because you bear the name of Christ, will by no means lose the reward. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care. Guide us in the ways of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We stand in awe of the works of your hands and thank you for your everlasting love. May you ever protect us and deliver us from all enemies. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.